surprise, surprise, you don't need gap insurance. Car dealers all around the country are totally dismayed to hear me say it, but it's true. Unless, of course, you suffer from low IQ. Aww. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Welcome to YouTube's best channel on how to buy and sell new or used cars, courtesy of the Homework Guy team. It's true, you don't need gap insurance. The customer story I'm going to share today is easily understood by any average person, so you've got nothing to worry about. Just sit back and relax and maybe take a few notes. Let's start by understanding the word need. Meet today's customer example, Mr. Ben Dover. Did Ben need to be over the barrel in the dealer finance office? Nope, he sure didn't. Did Mr. Dover need a car mortgage like 72, 84, 120, or even 144 months? Nope. Did Ben need blinker fluid protection, the headlight oil service plan, and muffler bearing insurance, all these policies they sell in finance? Nope. Ben also didn't need to pay for all those ridiculous made-up dealer fees and charges like bum fuzzle fees and lollygag fees and bad haircut fees and he certainly didn't need to roll them into his car loan and make monthly payments on them too. Nope, didn't need to do any of that. And today you're going to learn why you don't need gap insurance. You're going to learn how to avoid making bad choices at a car dealership like Mr. Ben Dover. Let's roll. If you don't want to do anything that requires a low IQ product like gap insurance, stay tuned for my gap avoidance strategy. If you're a first timer here, consider subscribing and leave us a comment below. Add hashtag the homework guy. If you'd like a response directly from me or one of my staff members, we are always glad to help our compliments. You can also email me at info at the with a specific question or if you'd like a free car contract review, just black out your personal information and use the same email. Before I cover the specific strategies of avoiding gap insurance, let me make sure that you understand what gap is. Guaranteed auto protection is an optional insurance package for newer used vehicles, even leased vehicles, especially any vehicle that uses financing of any kind. If your car is totaled, a complete loss, your insurance company will only pay the ACV or actual cash value of the vehicle. It doesn't matter how your car is totaled, an accident, vandalism, theft, weather, or anything else. If you were really stupid in the dealer finance office and you signed up for a deal like Mr. Ben Dover got, you could have one heck of a gap between what your car is actually worth and that big fat car mortgage the finance guy stuffed you into. When I think about gap insurance, I'm reminded of a situation when I was in the army when one of the NCOs would walk into the barracks and put on a pair of rubber gloves asking, okay, who's next? The entire area would clear out in two seconds. Think of gap insurance as being the rubber gloves of dealer finance. When that product comes out, any smart person immediately decides they aren't going down that path and should flee the finance office. If you have the courage to stay in your seat and not run, you need to say, I have no interest in putting myself in a situation where you now need to put on your rubber gloves, Mr. Finance Guy, otherwise known as gap. Still think you need gap? The rubber glove treatment? Now, who was it who told Ben that he needed gap insurance? Coincidentally, it was the car salesman and a dealer finance officer. They told Ben the rubber gloves were going to save him. Since you're likely to hear that speech too, you should be aware of what gap insurance didn't save Mr. Dover from, and it won't save you from either. It wouldn't cover Ben's car payments if he lost his job, if he was disabled, needed car repairs, a car rental, or when Ben's expensive extended warranty turned out to not be worth the paper it was written on? Yeah, gap insurance, the rubber gloves, will only do one thing and one thing only. It covers the difference between the actual cash value of your car and that whopping big fat loan balance like Mr. Ben Dover signed up for. Nothing else. And now, big news flash, you should know that gap insurance from a car dealer's finance office is very overpriced. Car dealers charge customers like Mr. Dover between $500 and $1,000 for their GAP policy, while Ben could have bought it from an actual insurance agent for less than 10% of that cost per year. If you put yourself in the same position as Mr. Ben Dover, why not make yourself a promise to not add insult to injury by buying an overpriced policy from the same guy who hosed you with everything else? Common sense says... Don't buy an insurance policy from a guy who forced you into needing it in the first place. All right, 
Here's how you can avoid being stupid like Mr. Dover, and you won't need gap insurance. Number one, if you're a smart car buyer, you always put 20% or more cash down on a vehicle you're financing. For those of you who are not doing this already, hello, you know you're going to need a car in the future. Start saving up some money for your next car purchase now and avoid those rubber gloves. Number two, don't get a car mortgage. Car loan terms were never meant to be longer than 48 months, which, by the way, happens to be a longer term than most people will own their cars. Should you still be making payments on a car you now want to get rid of? No, never. Um, only if you like rubber gloves, that is. Number three, don't trade in a car with negative equity. This move tops the list in the stupidity department. Negative equity means the loan balance is higher than the actual cash value. Adding unnecessary dollars to your next car loan is like saying, I was really stupid last time. Now watch me be dumber this time. Sorry. If you think there's nothing wrong with this, you are the person Ron White was talking about when he said, you can't fix stupid. Here's what you need to do. Find a private party buyer for your car. Fix the problem yourself. It's simple to do. I have a video on this channel titled, Buying Cars During a Financial Crisis. This video explains exactly how to do it. You showing up at a dealership hoping to fix the problem they created in the first place is the pinnacle of ignorance. Aww. Number four, do a better job of researching vehicles and buy cars that hold their value. Most cars will lose 60% of the value in the first five years, which has a significant impact on what happens to your loan to value ratio. Do your homework on depreciation rates of the cars you like and consider buying a car that's five years old or older. Number five, don't get stuck with a pile of dealer fees. I have videos on the types of dealer fees that are out there, but dealers are always finding new sneaky ways to tack on more fees. Don't let them jack up the cost of your car with nonsense fees. Number six, don't buy all the finance office products. This junk does nothing more than wipe you out financially and pad the pockets of the car dealership. Videos are all over YouTube with finance trainers teaching other finance guys how to kill it in finance. And their stories are always involving tons of insurance policies and products. The plan to deceive you is right out in plain sight if you'd only look, but you're ignoring it. Number seven, pay fair market price for the car that you're buying. A little homework goes a long way. If the vehicle you find is higher priced than it should be, negotiate it down or walk away. Smart car buyers always walk away from deals that don't make sense. Number eight, don't go into a car purchase without having your own finance options already in place. Having a higher interest rate than you deserve means slower repayment, making it more likely that you'll be cornered into needing gap policies. Talk to your local bank or credit union first. Some people don't like to talk to their banker, but believe me, you should trust your banker's advice over any advice you get from the dealership 100% of the time. Number nine, if you already have a car loan and you're paying for gap coverage, pay down the loan balance faster. It will not only help you get rid of negative equity on your own terms, but you can drop the gap insurance much sooner too. If you think you don't have the money and you're sure you won't be successful paying it down quickly, as I said earlier, sell your car a private party. You will always get a lot more for your car that way and do far less damage to your finances. Number 10, consider buying a lower cost vehicle and paying 100% cash. I can tell you from personal experience, it's amazing having no car payments at all. Not one person in my household has a car payment and we celebrate that accomplishment regularly. Be smart with your money, buy yourself a reliable used car with cash and skip the gap insurance discussion altogether. In conclusion, let me say that I'm not surprised by the number of car salesmen and finance guys who come on the channel to argue that you need gap insurance. Yet I notice they never mention to really tell you what happened to customers like Mr. Dover. They never tell you about the rubber gloves and how much you're hurting yourself when gap is involved. You see, no car loan ever needs gap insurance when you're financing what the car is actually worth. Let me say it again. No car loan ever needs a product like gap insurance when you finance what the car is actually worth. Bottom line, don't disengage your brain and be like Ben Dover in finance. Learn to say no a lot and you'll never need gap insurance. All right, if you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And do me a favor, would you include hashtag the homework guy in your comments below. Share the video on social media with your friends and use the hashtag again. You're helping to lead the needed evolution of the car business. 
If you watched all the videos on this channel, send me an email and let me know what you've learned. How did you apply the techniques to win on your last car deal? Perhaps I'll send you one of my awesome shirts as your diploma. And for those of you who like to say thanks with a tip, the links you see on the screen here for PayPal and the Cash App, well, they're easy to find in the description box down below. There's zero obligation, only do it if you feel so inclined. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos, car contract reviews, market updates, and much more. And we'll continue to provide highly valuable information with videos like this one in the days ahead. If you recently got a smoking hot deal, do your fellow citizens a favor by putting the details in the comments section below. Others can benefit from your shared successes and you're adding to the great experience everyone gets by visiting the Homework Guy channel. This has been an absolutely amazing year for the Homework Guy team. Thanks to all of you coming back, sharing our videos with your family and friends, and being a part of bringing awareness to car shoppers. You guys rock. And remember, don't be a bend over in finance and you won't get that rubber glove treatment and you'll never need gap insurance. That's it for now. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.